I'm almost afraid to open my laptop these days because of the tsunami of information that is occurring on a daily basis. Uh, it just doesn't stop. It seems to get more intense with every passing day. I'd like to say I could offer you some relief from that deluge of information, but in fact, I have to offer you an apology for making it a little bit worse by piling even uh, a little bit more information on. However, I think it's very exciting and hopefully you will as well. So thank you for your interest and your attention this morning. My name is Paul Ferguson. I'm the Director of Business Development for Advanced Carbons at Chasm Advanced Materials. I work with Dr. Hari Harikumar, who is our Vice President and General Manager of Advanced Carbons and Advanced Membranes. My primary responsibility is supporting the commercialization of our products for batteries, but I also support Hari with our efforts in the cement and concrete area. Before I continue, I would just like to thank my colleagues for all their excellent presentations and also the folks at TechBook for their heroic effort that goes into making an event like this possible. So thank you to Christoph and everybody at TechBook. So manufacturing carbon nanotubes at gigafactory scale. What does that even mean? What does it take to do that? How do you get there? In my view, the three P's are the key, people, products, and platform. We have an amazing team of incredibly talented people. We have a product set that was developed specifically for batteries, and we have engineered a platform to produce carbon nanotubes using the most capital efficient, OPEX efficient, and sustainable method possible at an industrial scale. I will also be talking about some of the recent developments in the industry and how they tie directly into what we are working towards, which is manufacturing carbon nanotubes at gigafactory scale. But first, a few more words about CHASM. For me, it's the team. The team is what defines and differentiates CHASM. Our people are truly our strength. I'd like to give a quick shout out to the founders, CEO Dave Arthur, Chief Innovation Officer Bob Prano, and Chief Technology Officer Ricardo Pratisilvi. It is their combination of vision, capability, and perseverance that is making all of this a reality. I'd also like to give a quick tip of the hat to our new chairman of the board, announced just this week, Michael Fetsenko. Mike is a battery industry veteran with deep knowledge and experience. He's authored over 70 patents, ran battery materials at BASF, and most recently served as executive chairman at Scion Power, a lithium metal battery developer. So CHASM was founded in 2016. We're a privately owned U.S. domiciled corporation. We're a small army of about 30 people headquartered in Canton, Massachusetts, and we also have our applications development center here in the Boston area. Our production facility and our technical center of excellence is located in Norman, Oklahoma. We're organized in three business units, print electronics, advanced carbons, and water purification. Our printed electronics business unit focuses on transparent heaters and transparent antennas, and those are the applications where we're beginning to see serious market traction. The focus of the advanced carbons business unit is on additives for better batteries and green cement. At CHASM, we are establishing ourselves as a key player in the battery materials supply chain, and we are communicating that development through appearances such as this one at NatBat next week and at the International Battery Seminar and Exhibit in March in Florida. So, CNTs and batteries. There's been a lot of industry news and reports recently that are confirming that carbon nanotubes are becoming a standard battery ingredient. Just this week, CATL announced that they are adopting Toyo Colors conductive CNT dispersions for their batteries. A recent blog post on the Tyco Run webpage described why carbon nanotubes are preferred conductive carbon additive in the 4680 battery. And a recent report from the Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory on the North American lithium battery materials industry specifically discuss, discussed carbon nanotubes. Um, we're proud to say that CHASM was included in the update that was issued in February. Uh, the image uh, 
in the middle of the screen shows the different types of conductive